Well, hey guys, Kyle here from Cash from Core, and I am with Kevin Nance. Hi guys. And Jason Price. How you doing? And they are. They both work on Recoil. Yeah. Which is the new. No, first person. No, first person. That's what I meant to say. Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. No, we're fine. All right. So, um, for those unfamiliar, apparently, like me, what exactly is Recoil besides just an FPS? So Recoil is basically gamers getting the chance to take up, take back into ownership of first person shooters. We're taking away, we're stripping away all of the layers. Okay, we want this game to be fast and furious. It's an esports hardcore game. Game, okay. The gamer game is a new phrase I'm gonna <laughs> use. Uh, mod tools from day one, dedicated servers, uh, server client from day one, all the works. Okay, you'd be able to play this game like you were playing a game like 10 years ago, but with today's graphics, it uses Unreal Engine 3, so basically basic rip and rip and rip. Excellent, excellent. And that's, you mentioned mod support and uh, server support off the map. Yeah. That's, is that just for player control? Like, what is the reason behind we, it? Okay, the reason behind it is we want to give gamers full control again. Full control. Okay. Full control. Mods. We want guys to take the game okay, and make it their own. And that's just, we're not talking about a cliche here. Okay, Counter-Strike started out as being a, the gamer's game. You belong to gamers. But then they shut that down, they put a, a ring fence around it and said that's our game now and you know you guys can play it but we that's up to us to, to make it. Okay? We're taking the option. We, we want the game, we're gonna support it with maps and with DLC. But our ultimate goal is for you not to make give us any money after paying for the game, you know. Uh, we haven't announced price yet, but it's gonna be under twenty dollars. Uh, and it's it's just going to be a case that we, we don't want to make money from map packs. We want you guys to give us maps. Yeah. Let me give it away. Okay. And we think that there's tremendous value in that for the game. Well, there's longevity in the game as well. The, the, more, the more options you have for community made uh, mods and maps and whatnot, I mean, it just it, it extends the excitement involved with the game and you know, allows people the opportunity to do something really cool that they didn't have an opportunity to do before. So. Absolutely. So, like, with the with the popularity increasing for like places like Steam Workshop, is that I mean something possible you guys are thinking about doing? Yeah. Or? Well, we're we're already on Greenlight. You are. You, I know you guys are on Greenlight. I know you're one of the. Okay. So. And we're gonna go towards uh, Steam Workshop. We want to. We want to be distributed everywhere. Okay. We don't want to say we love Canada or we love America. We want to say we, we love the world. We want the world to download our games. Okay. There's. The world of gaming is closing down. Okay? It's becoming a corporation. We don't want that. We want gamers to be empowered. Okay? Some of the best game makers in the world today okay, were modders. David Jaffe, Cliffy B. Okay? They all started making their own little games at home. Okay? With, the, with our mod tools, we're basically trying to say we want you to be, create the Minecraft of first person shooters. Okay? If you want to play an Azeroth, build a map for Azeroth. Okay. If you want to play Dust in Counter Strike, build your own Dust. If you want to have a paintball mod, you can do that. I mean, they're, 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 the options are endless. You guys are truly like open to yeah. literally anything. Yeah. Within reason, I assume. Oh, we're open. Oh, open. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> the only thing we're not giving away is the source code, because we know you'll steal it. <laughs> I really, honestly, I only had one other question. Like. You guys have partnered up with Twitch. When are we going to see like a real focus on the Major League side of things, the like esports side? You're going to see it pretty much within two months of launch. Well, actually, there's a couple other things that are being brought to the, to the equation. You have a built-in IRC channel in menu. Not only that, letting a little something out of the bag, but we're going to be doing a Beyond Gaming integration where you can go be able to access the Beyond Gaming 3.9 site. Right from within the game, you have the ability to do uh, clan matches, you know, major matches, right then and there, never having to leave the game. Not to mention, we're, we've already got Twitch playback built into the game. Um, not showing it off yet here, but we're also going to be doing the streaming side of things, hopefully within the menu as well. So all that should be right there at your fingertips. We're also supporting uh, Fraps. Excellent. We're, we basically want to give you all the tools to make this great game. We're going to give you the platform. We want you to bitch at us about updates and patching and all that sort of stuff. But if we really want, we don't want you bitching about maps. We don't want you saying, make us more maps. We will make you more maps, but we want you guys to make your own maps. Okay? We want you to 
take your imagination and bring it to the next level. I can't know? wait to see what's made. I mean, to me, that's the, the greatest thing that we can see is all the great ideas that will come out of this tool. You know? And some of the weird, that's why I asked if like anything goes, because I'm sure there's going to be some awkward maps in there as well. I don't care. If you remember the old Counter-Strike yeah. maps at all. Or the My Little Pony mug, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. you know? I mean, hey, it, it is what it is. I, it's, what it does is it, it takes people that haven't had an opportunity to do things and put their ideas into it. And, and to me, that's like the, the best thing you can do for a community is give them the freedom to make it what they like. It. So, yeah. so we're providing a palette, okay? and we're providing a canvas. And what you do with that palette, what you with that, do with that canvas, it's yours, okay? We've got no say. It's democracy at its finest. Very cool. Are you guys going to partner with uh, one of the major server companies? Multiplayer, I know yeah. that's excellent. Uh, yeah, actually, Anthony, well, yeah, Anthony at Game Servers, we're already, we're already getting going with that. We'll have some announcements once it gets more official. Um, you know, obviously, we're waiting on the green light thing to make sure that that's official. And as soon as we do, all of those things will be released. But yeah, Anthony's already providing us our dedicated servers for testing and for stress testing. And they're great people to work with. The guys at Multiplayer are great as well. Yeah, great guys. Um, I guess the only last question is how can people go vote? And so please guys, this is really important. If you want to see this game, you got to get on there and vote. We're a small indie studio. We've got no Kickstarter money. This is all of our own money, okay? If we don't get the game on Steam, we are fucked. <laughs> I don't eat, okay? He doesn't eat. He, he, he needs food less than me, okay? <laughs> Okay, I need food. I'm a skinny Irish guy. I came in off the boat. Okay, you need to go to Steam. Green light. The game is Recoil with a K. R E K O I L. Okay, it's really key that you vote for us. If you don't vote for us, you're not going to see the game. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back with more PAX coverage soon. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys.